Hi everyone, Clarence here from Chronologic and today I'm going to teach you how to create a crypto piggy bank and schedule transactions using Automate. First, I will teach you how to create a new and secure wallet for your piggy bank using my crypto desktop app. Download the my crypto desktop app via their website. So I have already downloaded the my crypto app so I'll proceed on the wallet creation. To create your wallet, go to create a new wallet. Choose the mnemonic phrase, get a pen and paper, write these words down on a piece of paper. It is important to list these words in order. This takes a long time to create but this is the safest method. Then you need to choose the words of your mnemonic phrase in order to finalize the creation of your wallet. Now you have created your secure wallet. You shouldn't in any circumstance let anyone else see these seed words. Since once anyone else has control of these seed words, it's not safe anymore and all funds should be removed from it right away. Just a disclaimer, this wallet that I've created is for demo purposes only and will not be used in the future. Please be reminded that you need to keep your mnemonic phrase securely. So now we will go to our account to view the addresses. Click view and send and then mnemonic phrase. You just have to put all the words here to unlock your wallet. You also have the option to put a password. And then you can see the addresses of your wallet. You can also choose a variety of assets that you can schedule for Automate. You can use DAI token if you choose something to be stable or any other token that you want. Then you can also check it via Etherscan. You can copy the address and save it for later. Next thing is we are going to schedule transactions using Automate. But before we do that, we need to sign a transaction using my Ether wallet. Unlock your source wallet first. So this is the wallet that your funds will be coming from. This wallet is different from the wallet that we have created earlier. Click send, then send offline. You can choose which asset are you going to send in your piggy bank. Then the amount you want to send to your piggy bank. Then put the address of your piggy bank here. Generate transaction, then copy the signed transaction. And now we will schedule our transaction via Automate. We can trigger transactions at a specific time of the month from a specific wallet to your paper wallet. Paste the signed transaction in Automate. Check the time scheduling function, then set the date and time on when you want this transaction to be triggered. Then click Schedule. You can save this automate link for your future reference, and if you're going to change your mind, you can cancel this transaction. Once you have the address of your piggy bank saved somewhere, you can check the balance of your piggy bank via Etherscan. You can bookmark this Etherscan link later so you, it will be easier for you to check your piggy bank balance. Etherscan will display the amount stored in that address without ever opening your piggy bank. So for example, you have met your goal for your savings, then it's time to break your piggy bank and retrieve your savings. You need the mnemonic phrase that you have wrote down earlier when you created the paper wallet. Then you can withdraw or retrieve your balance that you have saved in your piggy bank to use for anything. Now let's review the steps that we did. Create a new wallet for your piggy bank using my crypto desktop app. Choosing the mnemonic phrase to create and retrieve your wallet. Get the signed transactions using my Ether wallet. Then schedule your transaction in Automate. You can check your balance in Etherscan without opening your wallet. Break your piggy bank or withdraw your funds if you met your savings goal. Here are some simple reminders for you. Write down the mnemonic phrase in order so it will be easier for you to unlock your wallet. Save the piggy bank address and the etherscan link so that you can check the amount that is stored in your piggy bank. Save the automate URL in case you want to change your mind if you want to cancel the transaction or change the date. And that concludes my tutorial on how to create a piggy bank with automate. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned something today. Join us in our telegram group. Follow us on Twitter. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it.
This has been Currents from Chronologic and see you next time.